In the previous video, we looked at trinomials that had a coefficient of the square term being one like this, where we can factorize it in the basic or normal way that you learn in grade nine already. In this video, we are going to look at the second type that I've listed here in my list, the second type of trinomial, where the coefficient of the squared term, now remember, I said x squared over here, but it doesn't have to be x squared. It can be a squared or y squared or whatever the variable is, in this case, it's a squared. The coefficient, so the number in front, is not a one, but it can be taken out as a highest common factor. So if you assess the three terms over here, we can take out a three as my HCF, my highest common factor, and then we do the trinomial like normal. So here are the steps, let's do a few. So looking at the first example, the one that I showed now, we know that we always need to try highest common factor first. It's very important that you always try to see if you can take out a highest common factor first. In this case, we've got three terms, one, two, three, and three can divide into all three of these numbers over here. So I can take up three as my highest common factor. Then we open up what I call the leftover bracket and we need to ask ourselves what must I multiply three by in order to get this first term. I hope you're telling me a squared. Then what must I multiply three by to get negative 21a? I hope you're saying negative 7a. And then last but not least what must I multiply three by to get negative 24. I hope you're saying negative eight. Remember, another way that you can deal with removing a highest common factor is you take out the highest common factor, so we've determined that it's a three, and then to get the leftover terms in the bracket. If I have three terms here, it's gonna be three terms in the leftover bracket. What I can do in order to obtain those is I get the first term, take the first term, three A, and I divide it by my HCF. So 3a squared divided by 3, the 3's cancel, I'm left with a squared. That's how I get this one. Or this one, you take the second term, negative 21a, and you divide it by your HCF, divided by 3. Negative 21 divided by 3 is negative 7, and the a needs to stay there. That's where I get this from. And then negative 24 divided by 3 is negative 8. So it just depends on how you like to think about it. Once we have taken out the three as our HCF, you always need to ask yourself, can you factorize further? So if you look inside this bracket, this is now a trinomial. So now we're just gonna follow the steps that we covered in the last video. So you drop the three, the three is part of your answer. When you factorize a trinomial, this is a trinomial. Your answer is going to be two brackets like this. When you factorize a trinomial, your answer is gonna be two brackets. You look at the, the last one, the constant and you say, okay, it's one times eight or it's two times four. We need to choose one that helps me make the middle term. So seven, negative seven, two and four is not going to get me there because four plus two is six, four minus two is two. So it's not that one. It's going to be one and eight. Now, remember the way that I taught you in the previous lesson, different teachers do trinomials differently, but how I do it is I think I need to make a negative seven with eight and one. How am I going to make a negative seven? It does not make sense to do this, eight minus one, because that gives me positive seven. I don't want a positive seven, I want a negative seven. So I say negative eight plus one. If I have minus eight, negative eight plus one, I get negative seven, that's what I want. And if I multiply these two together, it gives me negative eight, which is that term. So in my one bracket, I need negative eight, so a minus eight. In my second bracket, I need plus one a plus one. Now you factorized fully. What about this one over here? So remember, you always, always, always need to try highest common factor first. It's the most important type of factorizing, highest common factor. So can I take out a highest common factor here? Yes, I can. I can take out a two. Leftover bracket. What am I left over with if I take out a two? This is going to be x squared this is going to be 5x and this is going to be minus 6. Remember to check if you factorize or taken out your HCF correctly, multiply this back in and see if you get where you started. If you do, you've done the right thing. Then remember, this is not fully factorized. This is a trinomial. So we need to fully factorize this trinomial. And how do we do that? Okay, we're going to drop the two down. My trinomial answer is going to be two brackets just like this. And then what we need to do is we need to find the factors of six. So pause the screen and see if you can do it because this one always messes people up. 
it's either going to be one times six or it's going to be two times three. Now you need to think carefully. And this one, as I said, always trips people up because one times six gives me six. Two times three gives me six. You need to choose the combination that when you add them or subtract them, it gives me the middle term. So a lot of my students will say, oh, ma'am, what about three plus two? Okay, yes, three, positive three and a positive two gives me a positive five, which I want. It is the middle term. However, if you take these two, a positive three, and you multiply it by a positive two, you get a positive six. But do I want a positive six here at the end? No, I want a negative six. So two and three is not going to work. You need to try something else. Let's try one and six. Can I make a positive five with one and six? Yes, six minus one gives me a positive five, just like I needed in the middle, so that's good. And six multiplied by negative one gives me negative six, which I need here on the end. All good. So what that means is in my brackets, I need a positive six. So we're going to say x plus six, and I need a negative one, x minus one. Now you've factorized it fully. In the next video, I take a look at trinomials where the coefficient of the squared term is not a highest common factor. So we can't take it out as a highest common factor. So we can't use this normal, more basic method. Can't take it out as a highest common factor. We need to do a little bit more work. I'll see you in the next video. Bye, everyone.